Hi, we are a team from Western Reserve Academy in Hudson, Ohio. Since the early 2000s, Lake Erie has faced significant algal growth that excretes toxins into the ecosystem. Algal blooms release toxins such as microcystin LR into the lake's ecosystem, poisoning organisms, contaminating water treatment facilities, and endangering the health of local communities. This was especially evident in 2014 when an algal bloom produced microcystin LR and polluted Toledo, Ohio's tap water, making it unsafe for residents to cook with or consume the water. Our project aims to reduce the harmful effects of toxic algal blooms on our ecosystem and water supply by degrading the toxin microcystin LR released by algal blooms. Our goal is to mass produce the enzymes MLRA, MLRB, MLRC, MLRE, and MLRF, which break down microcystin LR into harmless amino acids. We plan to create five plasmids which contain MLRA, MLRB, MLRC, MLRE, and MLRF genes, respectively, and insert each plasmid into a separate E. coli culture, which will be tested for its effectiveness in breaking down microcystin LR. To begin our project, we started growing Sphingomonas species PS60, a bacteria from the Sphingomonas family, in hopes of isolating the MLRA gene. Once we established a healthy culture, we performed DNA extraction and purification. Following extraction, we began PCR in hopes of amplifying and isolating the MLRA gene. To check that we isolated the MLRA gene, we ran a gel electrophoresis. However, results from the three electrophoresis trials all came back negative, which potentially suggests that Sphingomonas species PS60 may not contain the gene MLRA. Upon discovering that Sphingomonas species PS60 may not contain the genes necessary for our design, we did more research and found that the bacteria Sphingocinicella microcystinivorans, Y2, which according to our DNA analysis may contain the genes we seek to isolate. Once we receive the bacteria, we will grow it, then extract and purify the DNA, and eventually run a PCR to amplify and isolate the MLRB gene.